let's just skip it. Then. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, where you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. Sennacherib, king of Assyria, sent envoys to Hezekiah with this message. Thus shall you say to Hezekiah, king of Judah, do not let your God, on whom you rely, deceive you by saying that Jerusalem will not be handed over to the king of Assyria. You have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all other countries. They doomed them. Will you then be saved? Hezekiah took the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. Then he went up to the temple of the Lord, and spreading it out before him, he prayed in the Lord's presence, O Lord, God of Israel, enthroned upon the cherubim, you alone are God of, over all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made the heavens and the earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and listen. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. Hear the words of Sennacherib, which he sent to taunt the living God. Truly, O Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste the nations and their lands, and they cast their gods into the fire. They destroyed them because they were not gods but the work of human hands, wood and stone. Therefore, O Lord, our God, save us from the power of this man, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you alone, O Lord, are God. Then Isaiah, son of Amos, sent this message to Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, in answer to your prayer, for help against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, I have listened. This is the word the Lord has spoken concerning him. She despises you. She laughs you to scorn, the virgin daughter of Zion. Behind you, she wags her head, daughter Jerusalem. For out of Jerusalem shall come a remnant, and from Mount Zion, survivors. The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. Therefore, says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not reach this city, nor shoot an arrow at it, nor come before it with a shield, nor cast up siege works against it. He shall return by the same way he came, without entering the city, says the Lord. I will shield and save this city for my own sake and for the sake of my servant David. That night the angel of the Lord went forth and struck down 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. So Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, broke camp 
and went back home to Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. God upholds, upholds his city forever. God, God upholds, upholds his, his city, city forever. forever. <clears throat> Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles. Renowned is he as a stronghold. God upholds his city forever. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. As your name, O oh God, so also your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. O oh justice, your right hand is full. God upholds his city forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the Lord of the world, says the Lord. I am the Lord of the world, the Lord of life. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give up what is holy to dogs, or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others what you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road a broad that leads to destruction, and those who enter through it, through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life, and those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> A uh, sci uh, sociologist uh, way back when, when I was in college, uh, he quoted, crime does pay. Um, it's easy uh, to be bad, mischievous, sinful, but it's not easy always to be good and righteous. Um, and there are examples of that in terms of uh, uh, the gates in Jerusalem. They're shaped like an L and the gate is a bit lower. Why? Because when an army was charging uh, at the gate, uh, the camels would have to bend down uh, and they couldn't just charge ahead, they had to charge and turn therefore giving the people uh, in, in the city a time to uh, wipe them out. Um, so it was not easy to enter into, into the gate, but those, uh, in terms of believing for, for righteousness sake, uh, will take that extra time and trouble to enter, and salvation will be theirs. Um, the first reading, I think, is, is fun in terms of uh, the faith of uh, Israel, uh, uh, that God will protect them, and indeed God did. But, uh, you know, wiped out 185,000 people. Today we would say, oh, it must have been some type of flu or pandemic that uh, uh, wiped them out, uh, and uh, then that's why uh, Israel was saved. Hence, not the power of God. Uh, and 
that's what we're fighting against today. But um, God is with us, and, and, but we're also people of science, and we, we understand uh, you know, what, what's happening, and we, we pray that certainly a vaccine will come along and, uh, and save us, but it's still through the hand of God that uh, you know, scientists uh, are given this, this gift, <coughs> this gift of knowledge and the, this, this gift that can help and save humanity. But we also must then thank God for the gifts that he has given these individuals. Um, and so you know, we pray that indeed uh, we will take our time and we will get through that gate where there is life. And our brothers and sisters, let us ask our Heavenly Father to hear our prayers of need, not just for ourselves, but for all our brothers and sisters. Beseeching God to protect what the Lord has made, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer that Christians besieged and persecuted may, may find strength and safety, we pray. Lord, hear Amen. our prayer. That leaders at war may come to their senses in the search for peace, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That cities and nations assaulted by violence and tyranny may obtain deliverance, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That families and children, driven from home, may discover welcome and restoration, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. That those afflicted by illness of body or spirit may hear a prophetic word of hope, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For your personal intentions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those dead in war and all the departed may be gathered into the eternal Zion, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for also for more vocations to religious life and priesthood, especially in the Society of Mary, our USA province, and our Maris family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask for the grant in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be God forever. Let us miss for one and mind we have assured in the divinity of your humble yourself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God With humble spirit and a trite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice and the sight this day be pleased to you, O Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities, and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, as written the Lord is saying, for our good and for the of His holy church. Receive, our Lord, the sacrifice of consolation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its actions, we may make offering of the heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your strength. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as uh, through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you. All the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. 
Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, pronounced the blessing and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gregory our Archbishop, Joel and Bernard our Auxiliary Bishops, and all the bishops, clergy, religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with St. John the Baptist, his herald, with the Apostles, the martyr St. Peter Chanel, Pope Pius X, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus. The Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we <coughs> dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, disciples, friends, you say to each and every one of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be upon you all. And, with your spirit. and let us offer to each other some sign of Christ's saving and loving peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
hearts, especially have mercy on us. Lamb of God, if you take away the sins of the world, Freely grant us peace. Keep me always faith to commandments, and never let me be parted from you. And behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and, body and precious blood of your Son, we ask your mercy, O Lord, that we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed, faithful day.